<laughs> so how did this show come about? We honestly just wanted to have a show, so we made it happen. He like did all the planning and stuff, and I just hit up a bunch of people. Yeah. Together, it just fell together, honestly. Like, and, we just saw no yeah. one doing anything, so we're just, we're tired of waiting, and we see everyone in Walmart standing line in line. I'm just like, dude, if they can do that, we can take temperatures at a door. And yeah, just have a show. Good. And, and <laughs> people at Walmart don't even have masks on or anything. They're just yeah. like walking around. And, yeah. So. I don't know. It's about safety and having fun. So yeah. we want to do it right. We got to do it like res <laughs> like responsibly because all yeah. the stuff that's going on. But we're being safe with it, so it should be good. And how'd you guys meet? Oh my God! In high school, like freshman year, like ten years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. We've been friends pretty much the whole time, and we've been in and out of bands. So. Well, what bands were you two in? Together, it's nothing special. We were just in like a couple garage bands. Yeah, starting. definitely. <laughs> we like split from being in bands together, but we were still like making music and we we're still friends. So. Yeah. yeah. We did a few things. And what rappers are you inspired by? Lil Peep, Easy. Yeah. Honestly. GBC. I do gotta say, like, I'm inspired by Mac Miller a lot. Yeah. Just from, like, I grew up on that shit, so it's like, not many people associate him with my music, so it's just something out of the blue that no one expects, so. <laughs> Suicide Boys too. uh, Skew yeah. Posse, Ghost Man, everyone's, like, that kind yeah. of style. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> and when's the first time you got starstruck by meeting a famous rapper, famous musician, or an actor? Oh, my favorite, like, artist that I've ever met is, uh, Dan from Real Friends. Like, yeah. <laughs> I've met him so many times, every time, like, he's just the nicest, nicest yeah, guy. Sure. Um, honestly, I gotta say, probably Ronnie Radke. Yeah. From Falling in Reverse. He's a and humble dude. Dude, I saw him when he was still his emo phase and all kinds yeah. of great really, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw that, and that was surreal. Because I just didn't even know what to say to him. I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> situations, <laughs> like, what the fuck? So do you think he opened the doors for, you know, people like Ghostman to, like, you know, switch up the genre to metal and... I feel like they've there's been uh, like the bridge before he's done it, but he yeah. made it more mainstream if that yeah. makes sense. Especially with him doing the rap thing, he kind yeah, of exactly. busted open the door and was like, "I'm gonna do what I want." So, which is like cool, yeah, policy. definitely. <laughs> and how about a few random facts about you guys? I like turtles. I have a turtle. He's my favorite son. Sorry. <laughs> um. Oh man, it looked like I have a lot of tattoos, but I don't. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, my favorite animal is an elephant because they're freaking smart. True. And I want one. So yeah. please buy me one. <laughs> <laughs> and how you feel about the Arizona scene with uh, with the rappers right now? Um, everyone on this show, we love. We're homies with. I have songs with like a good amount of people in the group. He has a few songs with people too. Yeah. And everyone else, there's like a few people thrown out here and there. And Honestly, uh, especially the people on this show like going on tonight, uh, like we pretty much... We see them as underdogs, yeah. and like they don't get much credit for how much work they do and how much ass they bust. So it's like we just decided like it's time to just fucking give back and just put ourselves on the map with everyone. Definitely, <laughs> we're all on the same page with everyone too. We're like all on the same wave, and we're yeah. all just trying to bust yeah. through this. We're gonna shine, which just takes time, you know. Have you heard of uh, uh, Sick World, Emo Fruits, uh, Pink Sig? <laughs> yeah, Emo Fruits, yeah. <laughs> and have you heard of I forgot his name and like it starts it's like OH and he's starting to he's starting to come up I forgot his name he's another emo rapper hmm. I don't think don't so remember his name but yeah there's a lot of guys that are really coming out of Arizona lately it's it's oh, amazing yeah. I feel like Arizona's turning into the new Hollywood almost yeah. with everyone just coming over here <laughs> did, did you know 21 pilots they sold out the underground and then the next year later they became a mainstream band <laughs> I heard about that, honestly. That's cool, yeah. honestly. <laughs> I, I think I actually remember seeing something about that around the time yeah. he played it, too. And it's fucking insane. And then there's Young Blood. He sold out the uh, oh, yeah. pub rock, and a year later, he became mainstream oh, yeah. uh, with, with 24 Golden. Mm -hmm. uh, Young Blood is definitely someone I fuck with. So. <laughs> and then 24 Golden, that, that surprised me that he became mainstream. Mm -hmm. That shit's yeah. crazy because they're playing places like pub rock, and then they become famous. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just... I feel like Arizona is just a melting pot, and it's just we're all firecrackers, so we're just waiting all to blow up, you know. So it's kind of just like wait your turn. <laughs> and how you feel about someone falsely advertising your music as a mainstream artist? Will it hurt you, or will it help you out your career? It'll help as long as I get the like 
appreciation. As long as people like my music, I don't care. Honestly, yeah, I gotta say, uh, I kind of agree with that, and I feel that the money doesn't really matter to me. I feel that if I'm gonna help someone at late at night like, yeah. with my music, if that makes them feel better, like that's perfect for me. Yeah, like that's good enough. So if they want to steal it, whatever, just get it out, man. Just listen to it. We're here to use. We put our pain into our music to help heal others. That's yeah. literally. All of our, all of my songs are like sad. We don't care if you yeah. buy it, just listen. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah, how do you feel good. about like people who do it for all the wrong reasons for the for the girls and just for the money and they don't even have no passion for the music and you could tell they have a shitty live show. I mean, they're gonna do whatever they're gonna do. They're gonna burn out a lot quicker than everyone else. So, yeah. Like, if it's not me, I don't really mind. Like, if your heart's not in it, you fall off, and that's kind of been proven throughout life. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, kind of wasting your own time with that. Yeah. You know? And you guys are very inspired by uh, bands like The Used and Aid and My Chemical Romance? Yes. My Chemical Romance, yeah. <laughs> Those are like the three. Like, you ever seen any them. of them or met any of them? No. Um, I have I seen... Honestly... The Used was at the used, I, Yeah, The Used. I the remember used. That, I've seen them yeah. twice, I think. At oh, Warped Yeah. yeah That's pretty I cool. That. I got to hang out with uh, The Used because I was hanging out with Attila and they, they hooked me up with Backstage. I got to hang out with the U's and uh, Immediate Affliction and all those bands, Motionist and White. Nice. Oh, I got yeah. to hang out with them, like, outside, and they were just, like, you know, gathered around, smoking yep. and drinking, and it was just, like, so relaxed. Mm -hmm. It was a, such a cool, humble experience. That's like, serious. And then, um, would you be a ringleader, a fair owner, or a VR engineer? Uh, ringleader. I feel like yeah. you would see more. Yeah, true. I, I agree. <laughs> Would you be a puzzle, a hot sauce, or a warehouse? Uh, I'd be a puzzle. Yeah, I want people to try to figure me out for sure. Are you good at puzzles? I my brain <laughs> works well with like figuring stuff out. Like if it, if I have a problem, I'll figure it out. It just takes I'm good time. At puzzles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have a similar brain when it comes to stuff like that. We will get stuff we done. We spar with chess. I love how with the whole puzzle thing, uh, saw it's like a missing piece of uh, the puzzle. Yeah. yeah, I love those <laughs> movies actually. Yeah. Would you be a living ogre donor? Uh, would you be a sperm donor or a poop donor? Uh, sperm donor, because I like my kids to be raising hell all over the world. I'd be an organ donor, because I feel like once my body's dead, it's just I don't have a need for it, so I might as well save someone else. I am an o organ donor. That's good. <laughs> I don't need it yet. For sure. <laughs> hey, what anime character would you be? Oh, personality? I don't even know. There's so many characters. Like, Dazai is more like... Uh, his appearance, I had my hair like similar to him so many times from Bungo Stray Dogs. Yeah. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, I like Spike. aspire to be like Spike for sure. Like he's the coolest mm. character. And then Kakashi's like my spirit animal, so. I feel that it's so hard. There's so many characters. TBH, I would pick Byakuya Kuchiki from yeah. Bleach just because he's such a calm, collect person. And I am that person, but I swear I'll freak out if I'm alone. Like, <laughs> yeah, I met, I got to meet uh, the voice actor of Ichigo. I forgot his name, but he's also uh, one of the Black Power Rangers too. Nice. And he's in a band, so he's very multi-talented. <laughs> and he was just a really humble guy. Dude, that's dope. And would you be a Shark Tank cleaner, a uh, deer urine farmer, or uh, make teeth implants? I would love to make teeth implants because teeth are dope. <laughs> Shark. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that one. Shark yeah. Tank thing would be cool. Shark, yeah, I was thinking yeah. about it. I was like, mm, I don't want to fucking die like that. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> like anything, like because the sharks will just bite at you and yeah. you'll just die. Like they're not even gonna fully eat you. So it's alright. Like, yeah. <laughs> and would you be a demon slayer, auctioneer, or a condom maker? Demon slayer. Yeah. Been through some stuff. Yeah. I already have experience. We're good. Oh, <laughs> what what experiences you have with the paranormal? Oh boy, especially with this guy. Uh, yeah. We just have a lot of. <laughs> bad vibes but i i try to make sure everything's cool like right now we're in a good space and there's no negative energy around us mm. that's good yeah there's a lot of scary i've things. had a lot of scary shit happen. <laughs> yeah. like uh like personally i believe in like wiccan beliefs and i yeah. support satanism and all that uh just equality and shit but uh like there is sometimes where it's like there's things that go bump in the night but oh yeah i that's go bump okay. back so <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you feel about like zach bagan Ooh, Zach Bagan. Ooh. He's pretty dope. Honestly, Ghost Adventures is fucking dope. I watch that every now and again. I, I used to it. watch it, and then 
now I'm like, I've been through scarier things that these yeah. guys are trying to go through. And I'm like, yeah. this There's is... a ghost in there. Aaron, go check it out. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Anytime something Dude, happens. what was that? <laughs> That's a bad sign. Would you be trapped in a social media website, be trapped in a retirement home, or be trapped in a nightmare? Uh, Goddamn, bro. Retirement home, because it's not bad compared to everything else. You just be chilling and you can play games. Yeah, I would be in a nightmare just because it's exciting. It no, would no. be exciting. <laughs> like, uh, what's his, that rapper's name? Uh, can't have you ever say, but uh, XXX. Uh, uh, Tentacion. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, he he really inspired the whole nightmare theme in the, in the rap music videos. I He's a big good. inspiration, yeah. too, honestly. Yeah. His vibes and everything. And then came uh, Trippy Red. Trippy Red, oh, too. Yeah. I love Trippy Red. Ooh. I got to meet Ooh. that guy. That dude's so funny. Bro. I want to meet him. I want to be his I friend. I want to smoke a blunt with him. Like, bro. Honestly. <laughs> that's how I'm trying to be. Uh, what super villain would you be? Oh, Doctor Doom. He, he's oh, good at shit. like science, uh, dark magic, or any magic, and he just he can just take over everything. Fuck, bro. <laughs> Honestly, I'd probably be Scarecrow from DC. Nice. Because, like, Beard. he, yeah, I just control fear like it. Like,. <laughs> scary as hell yeah know. there's rumors for the new batman movie that uh johnny depp's supposed to be joker i think that'd be interesting he would do a good job if he did yo. we'll see we'll see what happens though yo yo <laughs> that would be cool somebody's here so i'm gonna go how do you have... uh, uh three more three more oh, you're good okay. you're good uh would you be uh uh a power ranger transformer ninja turtle ninja turtle by far i have a ninja Ooh, turtle tatted on me that's real shit same shit ninja turtle so. And how about uh, would you play a show in Space Station Hell, Heaven, Into the World, Underwater, a mall, or Space Station? Hell. And would you be uh, <laughs> E.T., a Gremlin, a Troll, SpongeBob, Scooby Doo, Cat Dog? Scooby Doo. I love Scooby Doo. I gotta say Cat Dog. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks, Show's about man. to start.